What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's me, Mikey Pipes. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. We're heading to a service call in Woodmere, which is in Nassau County, part of the five towns in, well, on Long Island in New York. I got day two, day two employee right here, Nick. Say hi, Nick. What's up, everybody? What's going on? He'll be in a few videos until he gets comfortable learning the system and how we operate. But he's also eager to learn HVAC, especially heating. And what other base, what other place to learn it that with us? Pipe Doctor, based in Valley Stream, New York. Our phone number is 516-348-6300. All right, so we're on our way to a service call in Woodmere. Uh, actually, Frankie was at this service call uh, a few weeks ago. So technically, this is a recall for him. And, but he's not here because he's no longer with the company. He was terminated. And we have a leak under the kitchen sink. And the customer is very upset. They actually sent me a text message uh, that he's very upset about it. A, it took, he was here for a long time make, making the repair go away, making the leak go away, but now the leak is back. So I got Nick, who has been hired to help us with our plumbing division and also learn heating and air conditioning. And we're gonna throw him, we're gonna throw him into the, uh, the pool and just see if he can swim. <laughs> what do you guys think he can swim? Do you think he can swim? They do. Yeah, he they does. Do. There we go. All right. Smash that thumbs up button if you haven't done so already to this video. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. We're right around the corner. Uh, let's go see what's going on. Time, timer flash seven times. ETU system. You ain't testing, you're guessing. All right, lead the way, housekeeper. William, relax. No, come on, close. Okay, eventually the door will close. Hi, William. Yeah, good luck with the okay. Let's see. On flashlight, you have one? I got one. You want a better flashlight? Oh, yeah. There. It's a big black thing. Just don't put it in your mouth. It's been in mine many times. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <clears throat> What's this right here? It's by a bad washer. Okay. And this up here. Probably a bad tailpiece, a yeah, top hat washer. Maybe. Okay. And maybe right here. All right. Without having to, to you know, you know, um, discuss the diagnosis as to uh, what happened, how we can correct it, mm -hmm. and why it happened, we're just gonna make the repair because it's technically it's a recall. Yeah. And under normal circumstances, we're making, because we replaced the dishwasher tailpiece. That's that. what I'm thinking is, I think it's just leaking from here, building up right yes. here, falling down. So, so it's probably the top hat washer. Maybe. That's okay. what I'm thinking. Okay. Um, I would think the same thing, or maybe the nut is loose on the top, but the top that washer, can you? Yeah, it's super loose too, it's oh. even on. Oh yeah, so we'll get the wrench, Yeah. we'll try tightening it up, but normally, let's say this is a service call, you're here for the first time, you have a leak there, they already know what the trip charge is, they already know the hourly rate, now you, uh, you give them, okay, we need to, this is what's leaking, mm -hmm. uh, it happens, unfortunately, it looks, you know, you know, that tailpiece looks so old, needs to be replaced, mm -hmm. whatever, because if that nut is loose, and it's been there forever, uh, we're not just gonna tightening. We're not just tightening that up. Yeah. Right. You know, you, I, well, the first thing that comes to my mind, you have these MSNBC specials on, on online where they, you know, they, they these TV people rig the water heater, they loosen up the nut, and then everyone sells them a water heater. Yeah. Right. But it just it's needs to be so tightened. Yeah. Why is it loose? Let's think about that. Why is it loose? It, it can be loose because of normal wear and tear. Yes. But if it's old and older, and maybe signs of, of an issue with it, you know, that nut. It's a rusted. It, yeah. So I mean, the best we're going to try tightening up that dishwasher tailpiece because it is uh, brand new in this mm -hmm. case, and hopefully the problem goes away. All right, let's Good. go. Let's go. All right. Let's see what's going on here. We also need a. Uh a Phillips to remove the uh, dishwasher if you have one. Let's make it easier. Why, um, what are you doing with the tailpiece? Well, are we going to switch this out? The tailpiece? Yeah. Why? 
Just because, are we gonna switch it out? Or are we it's brand gonna, new. We're just gonna tighten it all up? I would try tightening it up first. Okay. Personally. Yeah, let's see. How's the top hat washer look? It looks good, actually. It looks brand new. Okay. Yeah, that does look brand new. Yeah. Okay. A oh, one observation. If you notice there's Teflon tape on the threads of the uh, yeah, strainer, I, usually don't I would there. use a uh, dope. Yeah, for those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some people like uh, the Pro Dope. I happen to yeah, like this. Yeah, I use this Pro Dope. I like the Mega. And an observation, a side observation. This next time, remove the Teflon tape. Yeah, true. Yeah. My fault. I know, because they're going to comment, by the way. For them. <laughs> the people that Should are. Should I remove watching. it right now? No, it's fine. Oh, the other people, yeah. I think that the homeowners. No, no, no. no, no. I don't care what people say. <laughs> No, but there's actually a company, or there was a company uh, in Las Vegas uh -huh. that used to, uh, you know, they go up people's attics and their crawl spaces, their basements, uh -huh. with a tablet, with a camera, the Google Glass. You know, it might be bad. I think this basket strainer is bad. It's not even threading on. Oh, look at that. Interesting. Let's just replace it. All right, yeah. All right, so for shits and giggles, we're just going to loosen up the, the trap. And if you notice, that's a that, that's all done wrong, by the way. <laughs> that's a two inch uh, PVC LA trap, and that needs to be a two inch. Sorry, it's an inch and a half PVC LA trap, and that should be two inch. Also, if you notice, see how it's it's uh, there's a TY there, right? That's rolled up on a 45 with that 45 in it. That's all wrong because now the weir of the trap is above the venting of this connection. So no bueno. So. We're just gonna try taking that tailpiece and threading it onto a new basket strainer just to see if maybe there's something wrong with the nut. You got the other nut? No, I have this. Oh. Just thread it onto it, see if it, uh... no, 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 that. What? Take that, the nut off the tailpiece. Oh, and just throw it onto here. Yeah, see if that, if you could tighten that up or maybe the nut on the tailpiece is, is stripped. That will save us the aggravation of taking out. That looks like it's solid. You're not gonna. Yeah. Yep, so the problem is the strainer. The basket strainer. Yeah, let's just take it out. Yep. Good call. And it looks like we're going to be the same type of basket strainer. We can loosen up that nut right below that Teflon tape and drop the uh, the whole strainer assembly and replace it. So let's review the service call, the previous service call. Now, I know you're not Frank, mm -hmm. right? But Frank saw the immediate issue. Doesn't want to come out? No, my hands are all slippery. Oh. <laughs> the We know that the tailpiece... Right, as according to Frank, was defective and was causing the leak. It's been a couple weeks since that was done. And now we're back again, and now the strainer itself, the, the threading on the strainer, is no good. So can we blame Frank? No, and I probably would have left the strainer as well. But if the nut wasn't being able to tighten fully, or it did that for Frank, and he left it, that's his, that's his own ne ne negligence. You know what I mean? Yep. Easy peasy. All right, so the new strainer is going in. We're gonna make sure that the basket stays centered as he's tightening. And I guess we can make that parallel or whatever, but it's fine. And as we're tightening, the putty is gonna squeeze out between the sink and the actual strainer itself. That's okay, I normally How take a little. Oh, we're good. Uh, yes, yeah, it's coming out a little bit. Let me do a yeah. There you go. More of it's oozing out. That yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, and then we'll make our connections on the bottom with the strainer. With the, and, the, and the new um, basket strainer came with a new top hat washer. Oh, yeah, we where to, is it we have to cut that down all, or oh, no? Are we good? Oh, perfect. Where the new uh, top hat wash? Is that the one right there? This is from the old one. Should I just... Oh, here it is. I'm sorry. There you go. It comes with the nut and the top hat washer. You want to reuse this one? You still use the plastic nut? On uh, the bottom? No, I would reuse the plastic one. Yeah, because yeah, it came with the trap. And if I'm going to use the brass one down there, then we're going to have to get the ball wick and wrap it around there, and you know whatever. Oh, easy little repair here. New basket strainer, and then we'll water test it by filling up the basin. So real quickly, we're gonna look at the threads on this basket strainer. You're gonna see that they're pretty worn. Um, I'm not blaming Frankie for not replacing the strainer, because um, I probably would have kept it, 
but the amount of wear on these threads, um, Frank was not able to secure the uh, dishwash tailpiece brass nut onto it with a wrench without it uh, slipping again. So no bueno, Frankie, no bueno. All right, we got the new basket strainer, new basket of the strainer installed. Now the problem, I already know what's gonna happen. Since it's a dual basin sink, they're gonna, the wife's gonna come home and say, like, oh, it's very nice, but the other one looks so old and dingy. You know that's coming, right? And then we're gonna be back here replacing the other basket strainer on the other side, the other basin. So uh, we're gonna fill this up about a quarter away and then dump it and hope we have no leaks. And if that doesn't leak, we're gonna fill it up halfway, then dump it and make sure there's no leaks. Are you ready? Yeah, All right, let's dump it. All right, got that little sucking action. Mm -hmm. Even though the venting is, the waste piping is all done wrong here. She's still working. Get that nice, nice whirlpool going on there. It's good venting, even though it's not right underneath here. We're all good. Very nice, good. Turn up the water. And one last thing, you know, a good technician is observant of his surroundings. So I just want to just get that little bit of dope off of there. Not the dope, the putty. Look at that. Very nice. And you know what they say. If you're not calling Mikey Pipes, you're getting screwed. There you go. That's right.